another costly repair for another South Bronx business. Choco Bar Cortez in Mott Haven just experienced its third break in this month. We're not the only ones affected by this in the neighborhood. You know, there's other businesses and uh, individuals that have been affected by these crimes. More stores on Alexander Avenue and in the surrounding neighborhood are also recent victims. Police tell us at Choco Bar, the suspect forcibly opened the side door and removed a cash register inside. Luckily, the general manager tells us there was no cash, so the perpetrator made off with nothing. The important thing is that we work with our, uh, our leadership here to uh, see what we can do to prevent this in the future. NYPD data shows burglaries in the 40th precinct during the month of October are up more than 138 percent compared to last year. We have a lot of petty and violent crimes uh, that are on the uptick. The South Bronx and in this area in general, we've seen about a 33 percent uptick in crime since the summer. The Third Avenue Business Improvement District says the crime is affecting the narrative of the community. We've worked really hard to uh, reposition the South Bronx, which was once a former, you know, industrial site. And now we're the home of thousands of Bronx residents, a lot of businesses, an emerging commercial strip that's experienced deep, deep investment. This used to be a very desolate community, um, and these small businesses really have uh, brought a lot of life and energy to the community. Um, and we want to be able to protect them and take care of them. The resilient restaurant, which celebrates its Puerto Rican and Dominican heritage, continues to pick up where it left off, so customers are comfortable. We want people to come over, have a, uh, a cup of hot chocolate with a cheddar cheese, maybe a little shot of Dunkey rum to go with it. Uh, and feel safe in the neighborhood. And the Third Avenue bid recognizes that the 40th precinct is overtasked, but they hope that some sort of additional manpower, like an overnight patrol, can still be assigned to this area so the businesses and community here can continue thriving. Reporting in the Mott Haven section of the Bronx, Michelle Ross, Pix11 News.